Oh, we're in Omaha. No, sir. <laughs> So good, it's my first time in Omaha, and I gotta tell you, a lovely town, lovely city, made up by you people. You people are the township. It's very nice, I've never been here before, and I didn't know what to expect, because I, 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 I don't think I'm alone. I feel like the rest of America just judges Nebraska and Omaha as corn. Corn! Yeah, just corn. What do they have? Corn! And what else do they have? People that tend to corn, all right? <laughs> That's the assumption we make, and I, we came in yesterday, and I gotta be honest with you, we landed yesterday at 5 p.m., and so for the last, you know, 28 hours, I have not seen one ear of corn, all right? I don't know what everyone's talking about, I haven't seen anything. I haven't been offered corn on the cob, there hasn't been any corn candy at the hotel lobby, there's been nothing, nothing to do with corn, and just a regular town, all right? What are we checking out now? A bridge. It's a walking bridge for pedestrians, which uh, I didn't expect to see in Omaha. This looks like a very vehicle uh, popular area, but they made a bridge. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> my sock came down. Oh, so your boots. Now my boots like... <sighs> oh, you're pulling your whole hoof out. <laughs> Your feet are hooves. <laughs> yeah, I do have ugly feet. My feet are normal feet. They got hair on them. They have toes that point in different directions. And then they have uh, nails on them that some are thicker than others, a little yellowing. Some of them smell weird. You ever dig under there and then you're like, you can't get that stink off your hands even after you wash? Anyway, here's the uh, pedestrian bridge. Is that Stink. you? <laughs> this is the state line. Dull and boredom. But I like it. Uh, Omaha is great. It's just, it's, it's nice people and then people in their early 20s that look upset. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. Everyone my age, everyone in their 30s, very friendly. Hey, welcome to Omaha. People like 21, 22, hi, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> and you being here is somehow preventing me from that. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm pick like, I, I felt weird even bringing that up in case you guys didn't agree with me. But it's something I've noticed the last couple days. Every coffee shop I went into, if they were under the age of like 30, they just had a look on their face like, you're lucky I showed up to work today. And I'm like, what did I do? Did I come in with the wrong face? Did I come in? I'm wearing my mask, I'm smiling so you can see the crinkles in my eyes, you know? So you know, I'm a joyful person. I'm here to bring joy and tips. And you're like, this bastard showed up. <laughs> I'll teach him. <laughs> it's nice. I've very much enjoyed Omaha. It's been it's been cool. The birthplace of uh, Gerald Ford yeah. and uh, uh, Reuben sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not saying you're wrong, but it feels made up. <laughs> Doesn't that sound made up? Because it's like one of those things you're like, I guess I could Google it, or I could just let you have it. <laughs> like if someone's like, did you know the Reuben sandwich is from here? Immediately in my head, I'm like, that's a lie. That's 100% a lie. But do I want to pull my phone out right now, Google it, and have this argument? No, I don't. That's a good thing to be known for, because it's not enough for an argument, but it's enough to make someone go, okay. <laughs> Like, I live in San Diego. If I came out right now, it's like, hey, San Diego, home of the zipper. Did you know that? That's where zippers were invented. Southern California, you'd be like, yeah, I guess. Hell yeah, I'm wearing a zipper right now. I like how you guys got quiet. You're like, no, we will fight you on the Reuben sandwich. I'll tell you, that guy invented it and then moved to New York. That's what happened. Everyone thinks it's from New York. It's not. It was from here, and then we kicked him out and kept his sandwich. That's what we did. There's been plenty of bars and restaurants in San Diego that I've bombed at that I've never stepped foot back into because they hurt my heart. You know? All right, 
Wow, you guys are a very empathetic crowd. <laughs> they hurt my heart and you guys are like, how dare they? <laughs> Omaha is like mother's bosom. Come on in. It was someone. <laughs> That's what Omaha is. Omaha is a mother's chest. Come on in, sweetheart. Who is mean to you? <laughs> take a nap in mama's cleavage. Yeah. I was a little dirtier than I intended it to be. Then once I said it out loud, I was like, could have gone without cleavage. Yeah. Anyway, I like that we're we can hear the music bleeding through the next nightclub. I don't know if you hear that. Isn't that kind of a bummer? It sounds like they're having more fun over there. This feels like we're in the basement at my parents' house party. And we have to be down there watching a VH VHS tape of Thumbelina. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're having a cocaine fiesta right next door where everyone's having a great time. And everyone's like, no, you sit and listen to the talent show. <laughs> I like that. Maybe that's where we'll go after the show. Go figure out what all that thumping's about. And I walk in there. Hey, we heard the thumping. What brought you in? Was it the Instagram ads? No, the thumping. We're at another thing, and the walls were pumping music. You know what the crazy thing is? We all know it exactly what that sounds like on the other side. You can imagine it. It's exactly what we hear right now, except you go, I guess I'm having fun. I don't know how many people can relate to that, but once I hit my 30s, like loud music is like, hey, maybe not so loud anymore. <laughs> We can't even hear it good if it's so loud, you know? Bring it down, I can't hear the percussions. <laughs>
Uh, so I don't know anything about ice skating, but we watched the first 10 minutes. First 10 minutes, we're like, this is dumb. Figure skating's stupid. This is dumb. And then three hours later, we're like, this is the most magical thing we've ever watched. <laughs> How did figure skating become a thing? You ever think of like the first person that did it? Like the first person. Like, what was, I, I bet hockey was before figure skating. They're like, hey, we got a nice one. We break up into teams and then we can play like soccer with sticks, you know? And we can fight. It'll be fun. And then they're splitting off into teams. And you're like, hey, where's Jeff? And then Jeff's just on the other side of the ice wearing like a bedazzled blouse. And he's just. He's just. Ripped. There's like music playing. They're like, did he bring his own music? And that was the first figure skater. And then that guy, Jeff, eventually got to the Olympics. And he started a whole. There always has to be a first something, right? And you're like, who was the first one to go? Yeah, but can you do this? <laughs> That's how figure skating started. They were on ice and they're like, yeah, but can you go? <laughs> you know what I mean? There always has to be a first. 